Hey everybody, Jennifer from Scrapping Under the Influence. I am back with my next design team project for Country Craft Creations. For this, I went big. I did a 12 by 12 album from scratch with the easy wrap method that Tamara from Country Craft Creations has come up with. It really opens up the possibilities with the sizing because it's so easy to wrap. Um, so that's what I decided to do. And it was, it started out just more of a, I wonder if I can do this. Well, let's try. And here we are. So this is a full 12 by 12 sheet of chipboard for the cut front and back cover. It has an inch and three quarter, one and three quarter inch spine. Um, and then of course, because I can't resist, I did do a shaker on the front of this in part and it's staticky, um, in part because this like cabin pattern in the paper pad, paper pack, I loved it. I knew I needed to do something where I could keep it mostly whole, which is why I ended up going with a shaker because it needed something other than just that. So on the front here, I did keep it fairly simple because we do have such a large shaker element. I've got the uh, clothesline banner sticker here that I've just backed on some denim artisan cardstock and fussy cut around. Um, I topped that with some of my doodlebug chunky twine out of my stash. I've also wrapped some of the chunky twine around the um, shaker element to hide my foam tape that's underneath there. I've put a little Tim Holtz... Um, pine cone that was in my stash, a big one and a small one there. And then this is just the chunky twine again that I've just glued down in kind of a, you know, little swirly pattern on the front. The back, I've got the clothesline paper that I've matted the back with. And so, I mean, you can really see this is a full 12 by 12, like no kidding, edge to edge, 12 by 12. So, because it's so large as far as surface area, I kept it small on the inside. This is only three pages. They're very simple pages. There's nothing too super complicated here. So when you open up, we've got a couple of inserts behind our pocket. This is a magnet pocket. So you've got space for more photo mats in there. On this side, I have fussy cut from the six by six pad this same paper down into the banner. We've got pockets back behind here. And when you go camping, you have a tent. So I have made a little tent flap here that you can get some pictures and things in here. Um, I've just done just a little like kind of policy, op style, policy envelope style closure, but I did it with stickers from the sticker collection. So you've got your backpack and your compass and your matches and your uh, canteen sleeping bag and your little um, lantern there sitting outside your tent ready to go. When we get to the next page, we've got a half page flap here and then a big half page flap here. Um, just basic photo, el photo mats, not photo elements, photo mats. We've got stacked pockets here. These each have a four by four, four by four photo mat, and then a little tag that has a tiny tag on top of it. So each one of those has that, and then I've used my chunky twine again there. On this side, I've got a little canoe that functions as a tuck spot to hold this flap closed. So we've got a big flap, we've got room for pictures up here, we've got room here, and we've got a good sized pocket down here for um, that I've got a couple of the cut aparts in here. This is also four by six cut aparts that I've just matted on either side here. The canoe I did cut with my Cricut. It is sized so that you can cut this with the Cricut Joy, the small Cricut, if that's the only one you have. I will link that file um, when I upload the tutorial. I will link that file as well. Um, each of these pages does have an insert. I did not mat these just because they tend to get a little bit too tight to slide in and out of your pages when you mat them. So they are not matted, but they are 10 by 11. 
And of course, this one's going to fight with me now. <laughs> but there is an insert in the top of each one of these pages. We get on this side, we've got opposing pockets. So we've got a bigger pocket down here and an 8x8 booklet that goes into that one. And I haven't finished matting that apparently because it's late and that's the point I'm at today. <laughs> Um, and then a four and a half by eight, no, four and a half, five by ten booklet on this one. So five by, yeah, five by ten. Um, and then again, a couple of tuck spots. This is the four by six cut aparts, sized down from the six by six pad. So I've just got those backed, and they're just little tuck spots here. So here, since I was trying a bunch of new things, I figured I would try something new with this as well. I have done acetate flaps on this page in part because I loved this Constellation paper and I was trying to figure out kind of a different way to use it. So again, I've used my Cricut Joy and I actually, the red and the orange here are the solids that go with this collection that I used to cut the fire. Um, and I've just got that matted on both sides with the acetate sandwiched in between. I have a magnet in here and a magnet on the top of this pocket. So that holds that whole little thing shut. Um, we've got photo mats on the back of those acetate pages. I could have put some more on here. I just chose not to. And then we've got pockets with 5x7 um, photo mats behind our acetate where you're out in your campfire, under the stars. You know, I was kind of going for a theme here. <laughs> um, so that will also be part of the cut file that has the canoe, the tent, I do actually in the tutorial walk you through how to do this element. So um, back page, we've got stacked belly bands. So I've got a 10 by 10 booklet that tucks under the big band. And then I've got a four by eight, or I'm sorry, four and a half by eight that tucks under the small belly band. And then on the back, we've got our big Camp Brown Bear sign-in sheet. Um, again, I've got a couple of those elements from the six by six pad that I've cut and matted in two tuck spots here. We do have a magnetic closure there. And then just a waterfall. All I have matted on the waterfall is just um, the edges, and I did it to keep this page continuous all the way down. So there it is. There is my giant experiment. It turned out way better than I thought it was going to. I was kind of worried for a minute there. You will not believe how easy this is to actually put together. It is not it is not a difficult project by any means. Honestly, probably the most difficult thing you're going to do is that right there. Um, and that's if you're choosing to do the same matting and whatnot, where you want your little tent in there. And I sincerely hope somebody wants the tent. Um, but uh, yeah, so I am going to another retreat this weekend. So the tutorial most likely is not going to be up until Sunday night, but um, I will get it up by the end of the weekend for you. That will give you time. This did take, I think, almost two complete collection kits of the uh, Cartabella Summer Camp paper, um, plus a few sheets from the 6x6 pad. So if it's something that you're wanting to try and you are wanting to... Um, order that from Country Craft Creations, it, this will give you time to get that ordered because they ship so quickly. Um, and then I did use the green artisan cardstock and I think I used, I think an entire pack, so that would be 25 sheets. I'm not entirely sure because I had two partial packs that I was pulling from, so I didn't keep good count. Um, so I apologize for that, but you will need at least one complete package of the artisan as well. So, um, I hope you enjoy this. I sincerely hope somebody ends up making this and shares it. Even if it's completely different paper and you completely reimagine the inside, I still want to see your version of it. If you do end up making one of these, please share it on Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations and also on my Facebook page, Scrapping Under the Influence. Thanks.